The reason we decided to do this project was because of concerns about firstly the huge increase in the number of diabetic patients presenting with serious foot problems and um, the fact that a lot of these patients were having to be admitted to hospital through the emergency department necessitating at times prolonged stays on trolleys. This resulted in significant delays in commencing definitive treatment for what is a very serious condition. For that reason, it, the, the numbers of patients presenting to the hospital we felt was reaching crisis proportions and we needed to devise a strategy to somehow streamline and make the service more efficient for these patients, but also for the hospital. We needed to do something and what we did was streamlined the service, we removed the barriers so we reduced the waiting in ED and outpatients by having two ring fence beds in our vascular ward so that's what the bed management team were part of our MDT and it's unusual to have non-clinical members of an MDT but bed management were included for that various reason because we knew a huge barrier was these patients coming in and time is tissue so we had to be really proactive and think outside the box and do something really different and we had a vision that we were going to have a project that the patient was at the centre and the services came to the patient and that's what we did with the diabetic pathway. The diabetic foot covers a large variety of specialities and therefore a large MDT approach was needed. Uh, the MDT consisted of medical consultants, surgical consultants, nursing, podiatry, allied health and most notably non-clinical departments such as bed management. The key part of, I think, was the development of the algorithm. So it was basically just a tick box exercise of the management so it could be followed in a more streamlined manner and the development of a booklet. So all the MDT members could see clearly what the aim of this admission was, how quickly we needed to discharge the patient and uh, what the plan was going forward. And everybody could have a clear uh, vision of what the patient needed to be done within this admission time. It's made a huge difference. This project has a really big impact on all of those who are using it. So for the patient, primarily, it's better for them. They have a better quality of standardised care. They spend less time waiting to get into hospital and less time in hospital, which means they're at home more. So they have a better quality of care and a better quality of life. They have all the services that they need, see them when they're in that hospital period. So therefore they have a safer discharge and then we've reduced our readmission rate so they don't need to come back to us.